Guys, we've probably all tried it, sitting in front of our computer or with our smartphone, ready to cop that banging pair of boots that we've been wanting for so long. But wait, before you press buy, have you made sure that you haven't made one of the most common boot buying mistakes that you can do when buying football boots? Well, exactly. So unless you're the master of buying boots online, in which case I applaud you, well, here are five mistakes to avoid when you buy new football boots. Number five is gambling on the size and on the fit. Now, obviously, the most optimal solution in trying out the boots before you buy them to make sure that the fit and the sizing is correct, well, it doesn't really work when you buy the boots online. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't still do a bit of research on figuring out what the sizing and the fit is like in the boots. For instance, by watching our reviews. That shameless plug you can watch by clicking the eye on your screen right up there. But it doesn't really have to be much. You don't have to make much of an effort. Just make sure that you figure out which size you are in the different brands and what your fit preferences are. And if you do that, you've come a very long way. So you can hopefully avoid sending back the boots because they feel like they're the wrong size when you put them on for the first time when they arrive in the mail. Instead of being happy, you're just sad you have to send them back. So of course, this isn't the biggest no-go ever but it's just so much nicer to actually get the right fit and the right size from the beginning. Number four actually ties directly into that, because if you aren't sure that the boots you're gonna buy online will be the right fit or the right size, well, you shouldn't go and get them customized before you press buy. That means IDing them with your personal name or your flag or another way making them personal by slapping something on them. Because the thing is that if you just buy a normal pair of boots, you don't like the size, you can actually send them back to the retailer where you bought them. Could be us at unisportstore.com, hopefully it is. And then because the boots are still brand new, well, we can sell them to someone else. But if you've ID'd them and slapped whatever you want on the side of them, your name, your dog's name, it could be whatever. Well, we can't sell them to anyone else because who would want that? And thus, you can't return boots that you've ID'd just because you don't like the sizing. So keep that in mind as well. Number three is getting the wrong outsole for the surface you're playing at. Now, of course, the most commonly sold outsole, and should we say the safe choice if you don't know what to go for, is the FG outsole, simply because you can wear it on most pitches apart from artificial grass. Well, you can technically wear them, but it's not necessarily very good and you risk getting very, very injured. So I don't recommend doing so. But keep in mind, getting the right outsole for the surface you play on for these two reasons. A, warranty. Now, FG boots aren't made to be worn on artificial grass. So if you do that, you're gonna lose your warranty. In other words, if you play a lot on artificial grass, go get an AG outsole. And the other, B, performance. Because if you play a lot on soft, muddy pitches, consider getting yourself a pair of SG boots, potentially even anti clock because it's awesome. But unless you play exclusively on soft, muddy pitches, don't have the SG pair as your only outsole, because if you wear SG on FG pitches or, God forbid, on artificial grass, well, it can lead to some very, very nasty injuries. So keep in mind, then you should always get the right outsole for the surface you're playing at. In second place, we simply have a mistake that involves being too eager. So you get your new boots, you unwrap them. <laughs> you just want to go and play in them straight away, yeah? Well, unless you're 100% certain that the boots will give you the right fit, stop everything you're doing. Because if you go and play in the boots, you can't send them back, even if you don't like the size. So what you want to do is before you go and play, try the boots on at home. Maybe walk around a bit in them to really get an idea of what the fit is like. And if it then checks out, well, you can go and play in them. Have some fun. Enjoy your new boots. Before we move on to number one, here are a few other things that you should be wary of. One thing is that if you're a kid and your feet are still growing rapidly and you don't necessarily have that much money to buy boots for, well, don't necessarily go out and get the very most high-end boots out there because you're probably gonna have to replace them very soon. Anyway, next, next, next. 
I mean, if you have a war chest full of money, by all means, go get high and boost. They're awesome, they're wicked. But if you don't, well, just keep it in mind. And also, do not buy fake football boots. Like, just don't buy them. Why? Well, we're gonna explain everything to you as to why you shouldn't buy fake boots if you click the eye right up there. But seriously, just don't. But number one, the biggest mistake you can make is if you buy a pair of football boots for the only reason that it's worn by your favorite player on the pitch. Listen guys, I'm all about signature boots. I love the concept, but Neymar wearing a pair of vapors doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna enjoy them. So instead, do your research, find out what kind of fit you like, what kind of materials you like, and what kind of brands make the boots that you will feel comfortable wearing. And sure, Nike, Adidas, and Puma, the big three, all make very, very good football boots, but so do the smaller brands like Mizuno and Umbro and Under Armour, etc, etc. So find out what works for you and then go with that. And if it happens to be a Neymar boot or a Messi boot or a Ronaldo boot or whatever kind of boot, well, good for you, happy times. It's all good in the hood. But think about it. And with those words, guys, that was five boot buying mistakes that you should avoid if you plan on getting yourself a new pair of banging boots anytime soon. But do you guys have any good advice on what to avoid? You should let me know in the comment section right down below. And then you should go and subscribe with the notifications on if you want more sick football videos many times a week. Maybe you also want to keep watching. If you do, then click the video right down here. And maybe we'll see each other in a little bit. Regardless, I'm gonna sign off. See you next time. Cheerio.